and now His Excellency the Ambassador Muhammad Aslam Khan, extremely a wonderful individual, one of the best people having common knowledge, the person who has come after doing seven years in Washington. So no need to tell him, no need to tell you guys that how diplomatically he is skilled and up to date. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you, Shahi Sahab. Uh, you are always very generous. And uh, let me begin with uh, saying a few words about what happened in Nalta. It was uh, really a very tragic uh, incident in which uh, we lost, of course, uh, the crew of the aircraft which who belonged to our armed forces. But we also lost, you know, some of very distinguished members of the diplomatic corps in Pakistan and their family members. So this was something very tragic and uh, we Pakistanis, as we know each other, as our friends from Kuwait here, know us very well since we know each other quite well because neither Kuwait is new for Pakistan nor Pakistan is new for Kuwait. So we are very sentimental people and uh, we have tremendous respect for our guests and the foreign diplomats resident in Pakistan are, are, are amongst our very distinguished guests and uh, they were taken to these uh, places for uh, sightseeing for uh, you know better purposes but unfortunately they met with an accident there and that uh, the nation is very sad and the entire nation and as you know our uh, national flag is at half mast uh, within Pakistan and around the world and uh, the Prime Minister has uh, declared one day of mourning and uh, uh, on this sad occasion of course uh, I begin with uh, conveying my deepest condolences to the bereaved families and uh, expressing our solidarity with them. And uh, having said that, uh, uh, the second uh, thing that I would do is to extend very warm welcome, very warm welcome to the delegation from Karachi Chamber. Uh, <laughs> President Mr. Tifar Bora and members of his delegation, welcome to your second home, Kuwait. And, uh, uh, Kuwait is a great city, it's a great country, and Karachi is a great city, it's a great place. And as uh, Mr. Bora mentioned, Karachi is not just an ordinary city. It's, uh, it's very important, it's the heart of Pakistan. Sometimes we very proudly call it Mini Pakistan, because that is the place, you know, where you can see the glimpse of whole of Pakistan, actually. And uh, the, that city has tremendous potential, it's a vibrant place and it's a source of strength for our country, uh, not from one perspective, from every perspective in reality. So that is the hub of our trade, that is the hub of our industry, that is the hub of our uh, uh, education and you name it, and technology. And, uh, the third thing that I would say is that, you know, uh, as we all heard, that the visit of this uh, delegation to Kuwait is taking place after 10 years. So this is a very historic occasion. It's an occasion for us for celebration, but it is also an occasion for us for retrospection. To think about it, that how is it that, you know, this uh, Kuwait and Pakistan being two brotherly countries, countries having tremendous commonalities and uh, uh, so much in common, so much love and respect for each other. And uh, how is it that, you know, for 10 long years, there was no business delegation visiting from Pakistan uh, to Kuwait. So we have to think about it. And uh, Mr. Vora also mentioned uh, in passing that, you know, this, uh, the ladies component of the delegation could not accompany them. So this is also uh, something that we have to think about it. And uh, inshallah, 
uh, you know, uh, uh, this we will definitely uh, have opportunities in the near future when you know the, the the ladies component would be part of business delegations to Kuwait, and uh, I'm uh, very happy to note that you know this uh, the brothers uh, apart from the brothers from uh, Kuwaiti business community. Uh, as usual, we have participation of a uh, uh, sizable number of our uh, lady uh, uh, business women from the uh, Kuwaiti business community here. And uh, this has been a very encouraging sign and we have uh, tried to uh, put in some effort in that regard. And uh, as you know, this uh, uh, the uh, when I came here, I think about five or six months back. So uh, I looked at the uh, state of relations, and uh, what I I I could clearly uh, uh, see was that you know there was this huge uh, contradiction that you know on the one hand uh, there is so much friendship, so much goodwill, and uh, but then. When you look at the uh, state of business relations and relations uh, in terms of investment and trade, uh, there was uh, a lot to be done. So uh, then we uh, tried to put together our efforts and uh, the first major effort, uh, of course the community played a tremendous role in this and we had the full support of our brothers and sisters from the business community here in Kuwait and uh, the first Thing, among the first things that I did was to call on the chair, president of the Kuwaiti Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, Brother uh, Al Ghani, who is uh, an elderly person in this country. He is a senior uh, statesman and he, uh, he enjoys tremendous respect, not only here in Kuwait, but also in Pakistan, obviously, and around the world. And uh, I personally have tremendous respect for him. So I thought that, you know, I should uh, first of all go to him and to ask him that what should we do. So he was very candid, very kind. And uh, Mr. Uh, Saeed is sitting right here. He was with me. And we had a beautiful conversation with him. And he spared a lot of his precious time. And uh, he gave us guidance how to go about this whole thing and it was his idea that you know there should be greater interaction between the two chambers he mentioned that you know there is already a, a an MOU between the federation of pakistan chambers of commerce and industry and the Kuwait chamber incidentally i mean we i mentioned that there are many commonalities between the two countries one commonality is that you know the acronyms of the two chambers are the same. It's KCCI and KCCI. <laughs> it's the Kuwait Chamber and the uh, Karachi Chamber. So uh, he said that uh, there should be greater interaction and he offered that you know he will facilitate this. So now, I mean, uh, Brother uh, Evora mentioned the visa issue and inshallah I'm very hopeful and uh, a positive that inshallah we will we will definitely overcome this problem we are uh, you know we have been talking about this and our friends here uh, the Kuwaiti comment I had the privilege and honor of uh, uh, calling on his highness the Amir of Kuwait I mean uh, he has been so kind and gracious and uh, I can tell you that he has tremendous love for Pakistan and uh, uh, everybody in this country whom uh, I have the opportunity to meet uh, has shown tremendous uh, love and respect for Pakistan and uh, in this environment I don't see any reason why we cannot overcome uh, small issues like uh, the visa related difficulties that our people are facing here. So we will overcome these problems inshallah and uh, I mentioned that you know this a result of the uh, collective efforts of the embassy and the community, the first major uh, achievement, I would say, and also with the support of our brothers and sisters from Kuwait, and uh, Sister uh, Fatima Rashidi is sitting right here, and uh, she has done so much, and she, uh, I have uh, 
uh, been calling her as the spokesperson for Pakistan, going uh, over on television uh, as well. So we gave support. Uh, the first major, I think, breakthrough was uh, the visit of the largest Kuwaiti delegation to the uh, Expo in Karachi. And uh, for the first time, you know, uh, 78 businessmen uh, participated in the Karachi uh, Expo, which is an annual trade fair. And uh, that was the beginning, and this visit is the next step. And inshallah, uh, this process is going to gain momentum, and uh, we will have more visits from Pakistan to Kuwait and from Kuwait to Pakistan. And uh, now, I mean, what I, uh, Brother Vora uh, mentioned that, you know, while coming here, uh, the aircraft uh, had to, uh, you know, take some time before landing because the weather was not good. And finally they landed. So, but I was just thinking that, you know, it was also a good omen that, you know, their uh, landing here coincided with a heavy downpour in Kuwait, which is very rare. So in our Pakistani, uh, uh, you know, the, the way, we call it Barani Rahmat. So it's a good sign and uh, that also shows that, inshallah, the future is very bright and uh, the opportunities, of course, are tremendous. And uh, Brother Vora is here and you will hear more from him, from the horse's mouth, uh, what Pakistan looks like and what opportunities are there and what is the range of products that Pakistan offers. And he also touched on the, uh, the general condition, the political situation, security situation. So I can uh, just add that, you know, this, uh, the uh, things are moving in the positive direction uh, from every angle. And I keep on telling people that, you know, this, uh, our misfortunes, unfortunately, which have started with the Soviet uh, intervention in Afghanistan in 1979. Now I think that uh, uh, whole saga is coming uh, full circle. And now uh, the things are moving in different direction and the internal, uh, the internal dynamics, the regional dynamics, and the global dynamics. All these dynamics are converging towards peace and stability in Pakistan and in this whole region, inshallah. And that is how I look at it, uh, look at uh, the developments taking place in Pakistan and around it. And uh, uh, as far as Pakistan is concerned, uh, I've been uh, explaining the Prime Minister's vision and uh, that vision is very simple. And I've been explaining it uh, times and again that what he is saying is that uh, his job is people have voted him to power basically to bring about a positive change in the lives of the Pakistani people. And that requires that, you know, the, uh, the standard of life of people has to be enhanced and how that can be done. And uh, for that purpose, the first and uh, what is uh, required first and foremost is economic development. And when there is economic development, the size of the cake is uh, enlarged, then, uh, you know, everybody will get uh, a share out of it and uh, everything will improve. And for that, what is required is that you have to have peace within the country. And uh, peace will, for peace within the country, you also need peace within your neighborhood. So that is, in, in essence, the Prime Minister's vision. So peace and prosperity and stability within Pakistan and peaceful neighborhood. And uh, he has stated it times and again and very clearly that we have to have peace with Afghanistan, we have to have peace with India, we, have, we already have uh, peace and uh, friendship, uh, actually an exemplary friendship with People's Republic of China, we also have very stable, good uh, friendship and good friendly relations with Iran, another important never. So uh, that is the Pakistan government's policy. So now what is it that is worrisome about Pakistan? Practically there is nothing that is worrisome about Pakistan. 
So the future is, inshallah, uh, uh, full of opportunities. And uh, uh, our job as government is basically to create what we call uh, the necessary frameworks and the uh, necessary conditions on the ground and to uh, to facilitate you know the, for the business communities to interact and uh, that is what we are trying to do and uh, this visit the purpose of this visit is precisely that and i was very really encouraged to see that you know this uh, the delegation soon after their arrival uh, I think within, I mean, about, about uh, a few hours of their arrival, they were here and they went straight into B2B meetings. So for the business world, I know business is business and a cup of tea is a cup of tea. So <laughs> that is also a very good sign and that shows that, you know, how serious, uh, you know, the uh, Mr. Vora and his delegation uh, are and uh, inshallah, uh, I'm confident that, you know, uh, this uh, visit will, uh, inshallah, uh, lead to uh, productive, very productive interaction here and uh, lead to some tangible uh, progress on the ground in enhancing business relations between Pakistan and Kuwait. So thank you very much.